I'm going to show you how to build a basic beehive from a 5 gallon water bottle. You will first add this bottle to the modified swarm trap we already made to catch our bees, then later join it with other bottles as our colony grows. This video will use a round bottle with screw top lid that is commonly available. If you haven't watched my video on whether to use round or square bottles, be sure to watch that. Let's get started. You are going to cut the spout end of the bottle, drill the main passageway, drill vent holes, make vent caps, and make the magic tube that connects the bottle to the swarm trap. Where you cut the bottle is very important. You want to cut where the smaller diameter of the bottle meets the curve leading to the wider diameter. This is most critical near the handle. There isn't too much room for error here. Try to cut at this point all the way around the bottle. If you stray, it is better to stay on the flat part of the inner diameter than to run up the curve. The tape you see is not required, but is used here to make it easier for you to see the bottle contours. I prefer to score the bottles all the way around using slight pressure to give myself a line to follow. A well-lit area will help so that you can use the reflection off the bottle to help guide you. Start above the handle. You can continue to make multiple passes around the bottle scoring deeper each time or push the knife through and cut the bottle. The plastic is pretty thin here and not that difficult to cut. Flip the bottle over and drill a pilot hole in the center. The spot where the plastic was injected is not usually in the center. Drill a 2 and 1 8 inch hole into the bottom of the bottle. Test fit the spout through the hole that you just drilled. It should just fit through. If you are going to be making your vents from 2 liter soda bottles, measure 1 and 1 quarter inch from the center hole. Mark at least four locations roughly 90 degrees apart from each other. If you are good with geometry, you could even make five locations. Drill a pilot hole, then widen the hole to 1 and 1 quarter inches. You can use a 1 inch drill bit, a 1 and a quarter inch drill bit if you have one, but I prefer a step drill because it's easier to widen a hole a bit if need be. Make the vents by cutting the top off of a 2 liter soda bottle. Cut as far away from the ridge under the cap as possible without picking up too much of the wider part. Better to err on the side of too wide than too short since you can easily trim off the excess later. You can do this with a sharp box knife, but if you have a hacksaw, you may be more accurate. Don't be afraid to discard any necks that you cut too short, but save the bottle caps. Make four of these necks. Test fit the necks into the vent holes. The short, thin part of the neck should fit through the hole, but the wider ridge should not. Tilt the neck to the side and fill all around the gap between the 5 gallon bottle and the 2 liter neck with hot glue. Seat with a slight twist of the top, pressing the neck all the way down onto the bottle. Drill a pilot hole in the center of the bottle cap. Drill a 3 quarter inch hole in the cap. Cut a small circle of metal window screen 1 inch in diameter. Test fit the screen inside the bottle cap to make sure that it fits neatly inside but isn't too small. Carefully add a thin bead of hot glue around the inner rim of the bottle cap and press the screen into place. A better option if you have the ability would be to heat the screen red hot and press the top of the bottle cap into the screen leaving the screen on the outside and melted into the cap. Carefully install the vent cap. If you installed the screen on the inside of the cap, do not over tighten as it will distort the screen. The following steps are only required if you are using a modified swarm trap to get your bees into the bottle. If you already have bees and know how you are going to get them into the bottle, you don't need to make the tube. If you don't know about the modified swarm trap, watch my video. Finally, we are going to make a pipe that will connect the bottle to the swarm trap. Cut the bottom off that 2 liter bottle. Using a box knife or a cheap pair of dollar store scissors, cut the remaining tube and lay the plastic out flat. If you will be using both square and round bottle hives, measure up 3 and 3 quarter inches, draw a line, and cut across. If you will only be using round bottles, you can measure up 2 and a half inches instead. 
Using the lid of the swarm trap as a guide, roll the plastic into a tube so that it just fits through the hole. This should be almost exactly two layers thick. Tape near one end. Flip the tube around, check the fit in the hole, and tape near the other end. Double check that the tube will barely slide all the way through the hole. Lift the upper layer of the plastic tube near the center and shoot a small dab of hot glue under it, then press the outer layer down, thus gluing the tube in the center. A word of warning, the glue is hot enough to melt or shrink the plastic. Next, pull the inside layer of the tube towards the center. Again, shoot a small dab of glue under it, then press the layers together. Doing this from the inside ensures that you won't have a big lump on the outside when you slide the bottle on and off the bucket trap. Repeat at the other end of the tube. You should be able to remove the tape once the glue has hardened. Test fit the tube through both the hole in the bucket lid as well as the hole in the bottom of the bottle. The tube may not be completely round, but the end should pass through with slight pressure near the seam of the tube. Place the bucket lid on a flat surface with the top pointing up. Press the connecting tube through the hole so that it bottoms out on the flat surface and is perpendicular to the bucket. Place a small dot of hot glue at three or four spots to temporarily hold the tube to the lid. Once those dots have hardened, flip the lid over and start to glue the tube to the lid. If you just try to put a lot of glue all the way around in one shot, the tube will start to shrink. Instead, take some time and put a little on one side, then move to the opposite side. Let both areas harden and cool, then repeat the process until you have a complete ring of glue all the way around. Don't worry if the tube has shrunken inward a little bit near the edges, but you want this joint to be completely filled with glue so that it will be watertight. Put the lid on the bucket and test fit the bottle into it by sliding the bottle over the tube. Note that the bottle rests on the vent caps, not the bottom of the bottle. This allows air to flow into the vents without rain getting in. Although you might be able to attract a swarm with this arrangement, in the next video I will show you how to continue the construction of the hive bottle to make it more attractive to bees, thus increasing your chances of attracting a swarm.